Hi, I'm Julie, and I wanna show you how to make dried flowers into stemmed flowers for use in a floral arrangement. First, I take a regular skewer like you might find at Target or wherever for grilling. You'll find it in the barbecue section. And I take floral tape. They sell that at Michael's or any kind of like flower arranging supply. Well, you take the tape with your thumb, you hold it against the skewer, and you stretch that tape. And when you stretch it, it exposes the sticky part. And then you can just, if you put it at an angle up here, then you can just spiral your way down the whole stick. Okay, when you're done at the bottom of the stick, you just tear it off and spiral it the rest of the way on. Here are some completed sticks. Okay, so what you do is just pick your dried flower. I have another video where I teach how to dry flowers and I'll put it, it'll be in the circled eye in one of these corners, I don't know. So to get this on here, have your hot glue gun ready and just put a big glob of hot glue right here at the top. I like to go around in a circle, get it on there. Nice big old glob. And then take my rose. Now you gotta be very careful not to touch the petals. And after you have your flower dried like this, you're gonna wanna spray it with sealant. This, the special stuff that helps those petals stay on. They're very delicate. So I'm, I'm handling this like, it's more fragile than grandma's china. It's just like the most fragile thing you can imagine. So just treat it like that and you'll be happy. Okay, so now the glue needs to dry a little bit, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow on it. And you gotta watch these strings. Okay, the little strings of hot glue, they can run across a petal and rip it off, so just be really careful about removing those. Okay, when your flower is cool enough, you can poke it into some foam. Keep that flower head attached properly. See, it wants to, as long as that glue is still hot, you can actually use the low setting on your hot glue gun. And um, I have gloves that I sometimes wear, but I tend to forget to wear them. But you can just wear these, these kind of gloves, gardening gloves with plastic, and that can help you grab onto it so you don't burn yourself. So then I stretch the tape out again, and I'm gonna wrap around the hot glue with the tape. Notice I'm being very careful and I'm just gonna tear it off. And then with my hot glue gloves on, you can just give it a little pinch down here. Wrap it a little more. And now while the while that glue is still a little warm, you can just adjust your flower. You want some of your flowers to go straight up and down and just a few of them just go straight up and down and some of them just to tilt a certain direction and that's so while you're decorating with your flowers, you can find just the perfect place to place them. So here's one I did earlier. And those are natural roses that I dried in silica gel. You can buy that at the craft store in the dried flower, dried flower section. Um, and it's big bags of silica gel beads and you set them into those beads very carefully. And that's what's in the video. And I explained to you also how to recharge your beads once they get saturated with moisture. They get much bigger and they change color so you know when it's time to put them in the oven again. So anyway, here are some lovely dried flowers uh, to put into a floral arrangement or on a wreath or something. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.